Hi, we're Amy. And Wes. And we live full time on our 50 foot narrowboat exploring the UK. This summer we've been in England's capital city, London, and we've moored our little floating home around the various hotspots getting stuck into London boat life. Now that we feel like we've seen and done as much as we can handle, it's time for the next adventure. Today is an exciting day because we are cruising on new waters again! We decided to stay in Limehouse for two weeks. We've been able to see some friends, we've been to a couple of pub quizzes at the Grapes which was really cool. We got a membership, like a free membership that we found a code online for. So we've been having showers at the Pure Gym. We've absolutely loved Limehouse. So we are a little bit sad to be moving on but we are excited to see even more cool stuff. Let's go! I'm trying to get a really aesthetic shot of you coming up with the day. Buzz and Ben on Bramble have passed each other so many times and we keep missing each other. We've never actually met, but our boats have met many times. <laughs> so we're just cruising down Limehouse Cut which was actually built. There was a walking tour that was happening right near the boat <laughs> and every like once a week we would hear it. So I think, gathering the information, the Limehouse Cut was built to connect the River Lee to the central London. River Lee connects to the tidal Thames directly. But that bit was way too windy. All the big barges that was carrying like the cargo and stuff. So they built the Limehouse Cut to make it a more direct, straight and easy route to get all the stuff into London. Did a good job, it is very straight. You can see all the way down. A little information with uh, boat time for you there. An actual fact. History <laughs> with boat time. That's the pointiest garden I've ever seen. Look at all the green. So this is the lock that takes you onto that windy bit onto the tidal Thames. We're not doing that today. No. So we are now officially on the River Lee navigation. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I saw a sign back there. Oh. Yay! I can't believe the weed here. It's called, what is it called? Hogweed. No, that's the really poisonous one. Oh yeah. Duckweed. duckweed. It's called duckweed and it doesn't really bother the boats because it's such a thin layer on top but it just means that litter collects on the top and it cuts off all the... <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. It cuts off all the oxygen underneath the water, which just makes the water condition really bad. It also means that other weeds just sort of collects in the same area. So I'm pretty sure we've got some around the propeller. Oh my God, it's so thick. The CRT do keep on top of it as much as they can, but it just multiplies so quickly with the sun. This is crazy! Oh, anyone? I'm almost certain we're picking up weed and other stuff because you can feel there's very little steering. For the revs that you put on, we're just crawling. Normally, if you put reverse on really quickly, you can shake a lot of it off, but after a certain point, that stops working. So we might just try and crawl to the lock landing that I think is nearby, and then go in the weed hatch. It's still cool though, isn't it? Like seeing this, even if it is all getting tangled. <laughs> Definitely something on it. We're almost grinding to a halt now. And there's just <laughs> next to no steering. But we're nearly there, nearly out of it. We don't even really have enough thrust to get to the bank, so I'm just gonna drift. Are you, you alright watching us drifting? Yeah. Oh, there's a bike there. Alright. Yeah. Go, go, go. What goodies have we got? Got everything? 
think so. Thankfully, it just quick because we might be able to recover the drift if you're quick. Definitely on tight. Yeah. Go. Nice. Still want to be able to. Still, 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 still rubber. That's the weed you can see. See, the little duckweed on the top isn't the issue, it's that stuff underneath. I'm just going to try and get it off the rudder as well. I can feel it. Oh yeah, that's a big chunk of it gone. That'll do for now. So we've been using our Nicholson's guide from 2006, which means we didn't realise we're just about to cruise past the Olympic Park, which obviously isn't on the map, so that's pretty exciting. British thing to do. <laughs> Such a nice sign and it's just a sewer. 1862. Oh, there's a lock here. Oh. Well, it started chucking it down suddenly and we've come up to a lock, so that's good timing. And it looks a bit weird. Amy looks a bit puzzled and is just getting absolutely drenched. I don't really know what's happening. Typical. <laughs> Been sunny all week and then we move. You're absolutely drenched. I, know. I don't understand the lock. What do you mean? There's like a like a little ball that you have to pull out and it changes what it does. Yeah. There's one crank for all the panels in the gates. Like I was cranking it and it was opening the gates on the far side and I was like no I don't want that so then I, pre I pulled the lever like it said and then it started opening the gates on the other lock Didn't and it, know that you're trying to do it while getting up so yeah. the rain done you know the middle control panel there yeah the silver round thing yeah to the right of it is just a little instructions thing okay I'll go have a look just stay under the tree yeah that's the most confusing lock ever it seems a, a bit over engineered what are we going to do? Should I go and have another look? Okay, I'm moving the boat over to the lock just so that we can figure it out together. We just bumped into a subscriber. Sorry, we forgot to get your name. But he gave us a heads up that he's seen people walking around using keys. So we're going to try and see if there's some way of using the electronic stuff. But we couldn't see anything. Amy's going to have another look now. Just a key, it's just a normal river lock oh. key thing. <laughs> there was like a control thing for the hand cranking, so we were kind of fixated on that, and then I don't know why we didn't even think that it's just a key. So we found the button, and it's just an easy open with the key. So, pretty standard key operation. Olympic Stadium, the 2012 Summer and Paralympic Games. I think now it looks like it's like a West Ham football stadium, maybe? Cool though. So we think we're at Hackney Wick now, which we've been recommended um, as a good spot to moor in. There's a lot of weed again, which is <laughs> slowing us down. And this looks menacing, so we're going to try and moor up as soon as possible. I think we're going to attempt to double more because this area is really busy but we've never really like done it without having I don't know like prior consent <laughs> like we've, we've never moored on someone who isn't in but it seems to be the done thing that's like triple moorings in some spots so this boat looks <laughs> nice enough yeah
Thunder and lightning is coming while we're trying to moor up. <laughs> Smashed it. I just hope that they're okay with it because they're out at the moment. Well, so the window is wide open and it's going to start raining. It's thundering. <laughs> In. We made it in time. Double moored. We've messaged Laura from May Moon, who's our like <laughs> London expert. And we're like, are we allowed? And she said we're allowed. So we're hoping it's going to be okay. We've spotted a, a vegan cookbook in their window. So <laughs> at least we've got that to break the we're ice. We're friends and it's literally just started raining and I think it's going to be bad. So I'm so glad we're moored up. We got a spot. <laughs> Luckily the internet's all right. We need to take dupes to the vets on Tuesday. So it's on the train route as well. Hackney Wick is bigger and cooler than I thought though. I'm excited to yeah, explore. It feels like Camden. It's a pretty cool view, isn't it? There's like bar boats all the way down. Like busy places. Rufus isn't going to freak out about the thunder, are you? You're gonna be a good boy. No. Don't try and lick his eardrops. Come on. <laughs> Antibiotic eardrops, Rufus. He's like, oh, you've got me a new Kong toy. Oh, right. good boy. Oh. Ah, Distraction. <laughs> oh no, there's some people in a canoe. <laughs> Bless them. I hope that we're more than one. Was home. So we put our head out the hatch. Just gave him a wave and we spoke to them. Nice. We're, we're still, we're just a bit on edge because obviously we've only just moored up on them and now Rufus is barking because of the thunder. And we don't want to like annoy them thinking like, oh, I've got a really noisy dog. <laughs> Shh. It's all fine. Oops, it's fine. And you're chilling down here, aren't you? You're not bothered. No. Oh, it's okay. It's time. Oh, good boy. Quiet is initiate. Oh, that's better. Mm. Oh, it's okay. Mm. We're all mm. safe. But it turns out the thunderstorm was the least of our worries in this mooring spot. Looks like we're not getting any sleep tonight then. Tune in next time to find out why. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the episode be sure to hit the subscribe button. A huge thanks to the Chip Pals on Patreon, follow us on our socials and we'll see you next time.